I have seen numerous mistakes made by new emerging businesses or even sometimes by large corporations that are wanting to upscale. And some of these mistakes are things that you can avoid if you pay attention. So number one is not having a brand that is clear enough for your target audience. Having a logo is one thing. Having some colors is one thing. Even having a font that you've chosen and you like is another thing. However, these are not the aspects of what makes up your brand. Your brand is your reputation. Your brand is what do people say about you when you are not in the room? How would people describe you to other people? If somebody came across your website and they wanted to share it with a friend or family or to somebody who they think you can help, what would they say about you? Now, if you don't have a strong brand and people think, oh, I think they sell clothes, but I'm not too sure. Or I think they are a therapist, but they also do life coaching and they also do sometimes talk about food. When it's unclear, people don't know what to say about you. When people don't know what to say about you, it damages your reputation, which in turn is damaging your brand. So when your brand story does not match up with your visuals, you say you want to reach out to people who are in a luxury market, but your packaging, the language you use, the colours that you're using does not attract, does not even get the attention of those who are within the luxury space you have a problem. So number one is having a brand which is mismatched. And what you need to do is have a look at your brand, have a look at your story, have a look at some of the core things within your brand. And that is something that I'm super passionate about. Seeing brands truly representing themselves the way they want to be remembered. And number two is speaking to your friends and family. Now hear me out. You started your business, your services, or your products that you are selling. You've made your website. You've now even got social media platforms, whether it be TikTok, Instagram, you name it. You are now live online. Everyone can pretty much find you and, you know, buy from you or use your services. But the problem is you keep speaking to your friends and family. When I look at your followers, your followers are pretty much people from your local group, your local communities, whether it be church groups, whether it be people from your company where you work, whether it be just colleagues that you've shared with that you're doing this quote and unquote side hustle. Are your friends and family really your target audience? This is something you need to have a look at. You cannot just think just because somebody's your friend or your family that they are obliged to buy into your service or even that they are obliged to actually promote what it is that you are doing or what it is that you are selling. You need to make sure that you're speaking to the right audience. You need to have a persona of who it is that you're trying to actually talk to. Who are they? What lifestyle do they have? Where could you find more people like that? Then you need to attract those people. You need to put your product or your service in front of those people and not just be talking to your friends and family and then being discouraged when your posts do not necessarily get likes, doesn't get comments or does not get the engagement that you are expecting to get. If your followers are just your friends and family, how do you expect to be able to actually make the sales in year one, year two, year three and beyond? You need to branch out and you need to actually target the people who you set out to provide this service or this product for. Number three is thinking that being on Instagram or any other social media platform is your marketing strategy. It is not, okay? Having an Instagram account, a TikTok account, a YouTube account, Twitter, you name it, these are platforms. Now, platforms give you an opportunity to speak about what it is you want people to remember you for and what you want to be known for. Platforms on their own are not a strategy. They're simply just that, platforms. It's like me having a mobile phone. A mobile phone on its own is just a phone, but it's what I do with it, which could either make me money or not. If I use it to take, you know, photos and then I sell those photos on or I collaborate with brands or something along those lines, I've now taken a tool and used it to get results that I'm looking for. So having an Instagram account on its own is not a strategy. Posting every day on its own is not a strategy. You need to look at the wider picture Who are you as a business? Where are you trying to get to? And then you need to set up steps in between to make sure you actually achieve the different milestones that you need in order to achieve the bigger picture. Being on Instagram is great. Being on LinkedIn is great. Being on Twitter is great. However, does it align with your objectives and your business goals? Being on Instagram or any other social media platform is not a marketing strategy. A strategy will set out to show you where you are, where you would like to go, and it will give you steps of how you're going to get there. 
Instagram may be a part of it, Twitter may be a part of it too, even videos on YouTube may be a part of it, but on their own, they are just tools in your hand, they are not the strategy themselves. Number four, you do not have an online community. Like I mentioned before with point two, you're speaking to your friends and family. But number four is that you don't actually know how to build a community where people believe what you're talking about. People trust what you're talking about. People find you authentic and then people buy into who you are as a brand, what it is that you do in your service that you provide, what it is that your product can actually do for them. And then they actually become your evangelists. If you do not know how to create a community online or create a community full stop for your business, how else do you expect to be able to make the bottom line? How do you expect to actually get revenue back into your business? You need to have a community. And without having a strong community and knowing how to build one, you're not actually being strategic in how you can put your product or your service in front of the right people. Having a community allows you to be able to speak to them freely time and time again in such a way that you can keep getting conversions over and over and over and over again. That's why you need to build a community, a strong community that believes in who you are, believes in your values, believes in your brand, believes in what you do. They take it on as their own and they actually start to promote and share you organically with friends and family, organically with their audience, just because they purely love what it is that you do or what it is that you offer as a service. Number five, you yourself do not have the skill set to actually know how to market your business or service or you don't know what to look out for when you want to hire someone to put a strategy in place. Now hear me out, we have so many online gurus nowadays, have so many social media managers nowadays, we have people that can do graphics, in fact you can do it yourself, you just need a Canva account and you can create your own visuals. However, do you actually know what you are doing? Do you actually know how to generate results? Do you know how to use those skills in order to be able to create a community and that community to then become your evangelist and that community to then in turn be the ones who come back as repeat business or share you so much that you constantly get new leads and new business coming your way? If you do not know how to do that, then you will find yourself not being able to convert, not being able to actually generate sales for your business. You could have the greatest product or the greatest service. You could have trained and got all the qualifications that you need in order to set yourself apart from the others in your industry. But if people do not know about you, it doesn't matter how great you are and how amazing you are and what certificates you have in your house or what credentials you have, you're almost like the best kept secret. So you having a marketing strategy allows you to put yourself or your product or your services in front of an audience who want to hear from you, an audience who genuinely have been looking for you. And so when you position yourself correctly and you use the right marketing strategy, you will be able to win. You'll be able to not only have people who believe in your brand or in your services, you'll also have people that will convert And as they convert, you will see the sales coming in. For some of you, everything that I've just mentioned might not be brand new to you or everything that I've just mentioned to you has completely just opened your mind and now you know exactly where it is that the weaknesses have been in your business and you're going to just work on that and you're going to excel and do so well and see growth in your sales. Please, if that's you, let me know because I'd love to know how this video has helped you. Now, for some of you, everything that I've just said has been super helpful, but you do feel a little bit overwhelmed by everything that I just explained. It's like, Nash, I've heard some of this before, but I still don't know how to actually go ahead and implement any of this into my business. I've got just the thing for you. I'm going to be running a webinar in a forum with other people that are also doing business. This will be an opportunity for you to ask those pressing questions that you just feel like, I don't know who else to ask this. If you would like to come to this webinar, then please do follow the link and come along and learn. Come along to ask your questions and come along with other people who are also trying to grow in their business. No question is too simple and no question, hopefully, is too hard. You come along, bring yourself and share this link with anybody else who you think will also be interested in this webinar. So like I said, if you're interested, please do click the link to the webinar.